New at six tonight, he's fighting for the right to die with dignity. Chris Conti joins us now with more on how John J. Hooker is calling for a ruling in the matter sooner rather than later. Chris. Vicki Hooker was diagnosed with stage four terminal cancer in January. Today, he and his legal team filed a motion to expedite a ruling from Chancellor Carol McCoy. The chancellor heard his case in June challenging the cost constitutionality of a state law that makes it illegal for someone to take their own life with the assistance of a doctor. Hooker is urging for a speedy ruling. We'll file a motion today that respectfully says, look, let's get on with it, uh, because whatever she decides is going to be appealed. If she decides to die, favor will go up, if, uh, the other side will appeal, if they, if they when we'll appeal. and so. What we need is an next best answer to yes is no, so that we can take it on up to the next level. That was Hooker earlier today. Meanwhile, a Davidson County grand jury also heard from the longtime lawyer, political activist, and civil rights leader because he claims that legislatures abused their powers when they passed the law prohibiting people to take their own lives. The jury issued a statement on Friday showing their support for Hooker's fight to get the state's law amended to give patients an end of life option. Hooker plans to send a copy of that grand jury statement to all members of the legislature because he says the fight is not over. I've been fighting for civil rights and fighting against the judge's uh, way of election. And, you know, I've been sticking my nose in the public business uh, for a long, long time. This gives me a special thrill because so many people de so deeply relate to it. John J. Hooker is taking experimental medicines that make it difficult for him to walk and makes him itch, but are helping him re uh, retain the ability to get around, at least for the time being. This is a fight which is far from over. Rory. Chris, thanks.